Okay, everybody. So in this video, we're going to do a little bit of coordinate geometry. We're going to find the equation on the line described by the following. We want it to be passing through the point 4, 5 and parallel to the x-axis. Now, in, in a lot of these questions that we do, when I ask students for equations of a line, um, I'm usually asking them for them in the form, in the point slope form, looking like this, or slope intercept or form, y equals mx plus b. But in this case right here, as soon as we start talking about parallel to the x or the y axis, the answer is a little different. And these forms aren't, aren't perfectly suited to lines that are like this. Now, the, the slope intercept form would work, actually both of them would work in this particular case, but not in a way that's, that's ultimately what you want it to look like. You're going to play with it a little bit here. When we say parallel to the x-axis, let's just draw this out here. Parallel to the x-axis going to the point 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going through this point right here. Here's my y, here's my x. And my line, if it's parallel to the x-axis, is going to be a horizontal line. Now in this case right here, what we're going to note here is that what's constant about this, what stays the same for every point on this line, is the y-coordinate is consistently always 5. And so we might just say, well, the general statement here is just I'm looking for a line where the y-coordinate is 5. That's it. Okay? Um, and you might even bring that over and write this in a slightly different form because sometimes teachers want it to look like this instead, where y minus 5 is equal to 0. But that, that's the answer that we're looking for here. You could argue, though, that, well, hey, wait a minute. No, no. This is, uh, this is a line that has got a slope of 0, and it passes to the point 4, 5. So you could work it through that this is going to be in, in the point slope form. y minus 5 is going to equal 0 times x minus 4. But then that multiplying through by 0 which is going to get rid of that term. And so immediately it becomes this, which you could then write as this, uh, just like we did previous here. So these two here can be written like that. Now, um, and you could argue the same way. You could do the exact same uh, thing here if you did slope-intercept form. But that's what we're getting at here. One of these two, one of these two ways of writing this um, line is, is what we're looking for. If it's parallel to the y-axis, it's a little bit different because the slope is undefined. And we're, we're going to take a look at uh, that in another video.